And the thing that I want to share is what is a, a certified business enterprise and why everyone in here that has a business, I don't care what kind of business it is, you should absolutely make this on your top priority list. And this has to do with your standing in the United States. You know, Nick touched on jurisdiction. He touched on authority. He touched on access, right? When we're starting businesses, oftentimes for any small business owner in this room, or when you first start a business, one of the major things that you lack is access, right? That's one of the biggest things you lack access, you lack financial capital, you lack network, you lack authority, you lack credibility. Whereas this particular certification right here called a certified business enterprise, also known as a small business enterprise, also known as a minority business enterprise. And if you are a woman is a WMBE, a women minority business enterprise, or just a women business enterprise. That's where you own over 50% of the company that you're operating. You can, gain access just from the certification alone, regardless of how good you are in your business, regardless of how many followers you have, regardless of how much money you have saved in the bank, regardless of your experience, this right here, certified business enterprise from what I've been learning, it's like, it's like having the keys to the kingdom in your hand in terms of the United States. Imagine your customer is the US government. Imagine that. Imagine being a wife coach, a financial coach, uh, a marketing expert like Alex Albaran. Um, I know I see my, my friend Prince in the house. I know you got a business and I see other clients. I see Joel, um, a Pearl, uh, whom I just spoke to today. You got a business. I think Ronnie, I think you're working on something. If I'm not mistaken, I'm looking at some other names in here. If you have a business, please put it in the chat that you, you know, you're, I know Mark Swede, I see you in the house. Um, if you have a business, please comment the name of your business, right? And like, what does it do, right? Quick, little short sentence. Name of your business, what does it do? Even my leaders in the house, just, you know, put that there um, and let's, let's blow up that chat so people can see. And again, looking at this opportunity here, I'm gonna show you uh, my screen, some tabs, and I'll definitely copy and paste the links, put them in the chat. But what I've been learning about is basically when you get this certification, you're letting the government of the United States and your local county government, your local state and county, you're notifying them that, hey, I'm a business owner. I'm here. Hello. Right. You go into their registry. Right. And then you literally turn the key and there is a access that you receive upon certification, like immediately upon certification, you become a government contractor, which you now have access to government jobs, right? Um, through a portal of hundreds of thousands of jobs all over the United States that you can bid on, that you can, you know, access and put a bid on that particular job. I'll use me for an example. Let's say there's a corporation in South Florida, in Broward County specifically, that's the county that I live in. And let's say there's uh, a, a business of um, 150 employees or whatever, and they put an ad out. Um, please mute your mic if you can, um, whoever that was, please mute. But you put an ad out, uh, or I'm sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Sugar, y'all help me here, where was I? local county business owner right yeah so corporation let's say 150 employees and that corporation is specifically looking for a financial coach or financial advisor financial consultant to uh, talk to their employees about hsas roth iras iras qualified retirement plans life insurance and so you and i that are not certified in this room we would never see that job because that job gets posted on this particular portal, right? And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And it's like this this very secure, unique access that the government has. And what's also really interesting is they have laid aside a percentage of money and jobs specifically for small business owners, right? So I was recently at a conference in my local area 
and they were saying how 25% of all government contracts that happen in Broward County specifically are set aside for small business owners, right? And then it goes and narrows into if you're black owned business, minority owned business, women owned business, then it gets even more niche. And as you get into these pockets of minority business owners, black owned business, women owned business, the number starts to lessen tremendously, right? And then the number is even less in terms of those minority women, black owned businesses that are actually certified in their local county and state. And so you get the certification, whether the job or the government opportunity job, whether it relates to your business or not, you have the eyeballs, you can gain access, right? And you can subcontract the work to another business and you get paid for that work. Very similar to what Alex was saying earlier, how he put up his hands. He said, look, no calluses, right? Where he's, he started a business, right? And now he's subcontracting, hiring other people to do the work. And then he facilitates and get paid for that action, for being a facilitator, right? If he was to become a certified business enterprise, all that business that he cannot serve because he just got done uh, earlier saying how he's literally swamped with business that's money on the table that he could absolutely access by subcontracting it out to other people and getting paid for that right with that certification so 